All right, you guys, happy Friday uh, out here at Santa Ana River Lakes. I do have my daughter here with me. Audrey, say hi. Hi. So, um, yeah, so today's gonna be something a little different. Um, I wanna see, my goal today is to catch uh, multi-species. Uh, yesterday's stocking, I believe they uh, stocked a good amount of tilapia. So I do wanna catch some tilapia. So uh, I've got one rod, here, I'll show you. I got one rod right here set up with night crawlers and a marshmallow and the usual rod over here uh have it set up with a mealworm and marshmallow you know for the catfish so we we're hoping for a catfish bite as well as a tilapia bite and actually since we had my daughter we have a third rod in the water just to totally go off off the wall power bait see if we can get a holdover trout to bite today we'll see how we do uh late start today uh 8 30 uh, only have about four or five hours of fishing to do um, so we're gonna try to make the most of it she's having a good time she's got daddy's nice little straw hat and uh, yeah so we'll see how we do all right rod number two with night crawlers as you can see that bobber barely moved uh, I was able to see it move a little bit uh, went over there didn't swing right away uh, just reeled up some slack waited for the line to start moving and then I started reeling let that circle hook do the work now you can see, you gotta be patient. They will play with that bait, but just gotta be patient, wait for that right time to start reeling in real fast or set that hook. Now once we got that fish on the line, let's see what we got. Now this fish was fighting much differently than a catfish. So as you can see, as I drag it onto shore, we successfully caught ourselves a tilapia. Now this was pretty cool. My daughter wanted to feel what a fish feels like. So she, every, almost every fish that we caught, she wanted to touch. Now I've caught tilapia before at other lakes, uh, smaller ones. Uh, so this one was definitely, uh, I guess I could say my personal best tilapia. Yeah. All right, here we go, fish number two. Uh, once again, on the night crawlers, you guys. So uh, my daughter was really excited to help her dad uh, land a fish. So she really wanted to help net the fish. So I thought it was pretty cute that she was really excited to do this. Although my daughter had good intentions for her first attempt netting a fish, this one didn't go uh, as smoothly as planned. Scoop it, scoop it. Yay, there you go, you scooped it. Pretty good size one. Not bad. Alright you guys, uh, so in my last video some of you guys were asking about how I have stuff set up. Uh, that last catfish was actually not caught on last week's uh, mealworm and marshmallows. Uh, that one was actually caught on the rod that had the, uh, the night crawler and marshmallow. So here's what that setup looks like. So I've got a half ounce uh, sliding sinker to a Carolina Keeper. Uh, I like the Carolina Keepers because uh, I can easily adjust the length of the leader real quick. Um, and then I've got a one aught uh, light wire circle hook. Uh, and on this particular one, I've got the marshmallow. I, and then the night crawler, I inflated a little bit uh, to kind of keep it floating. Uh, the one thing you guys want to always do is make sure that your bait is floating. Kind of take a look at it like that before you cast out. And I'm just kind of casting out probably about 15, 20 feet out. Nothing too crazy. Let's see what happens. Now we gave up on the third rod going for trout. So we converted that one over to just another night crawler and marshmallow. So that was my daughter's rod. So uh, that rod actually got a lot of action uh, today. Um, that is basically my ultralight trout setup. So uh, any fish that was caught on that uh, definitely put up a good fight. So as you can see by the bend in the rod, uh, this is definitely my ultralight setup for trout. And uh, yeah, if I was to have caught uh, any decent size to big catfish, I would have been in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Just getting the leverage to kind of get them going, even on this fish right here uh, was challenging. And, it was probably just a two pounder, so. But it's definitely a lot of fun catching these catfish on these ultralight setups. Um, 
yeah, I think on here I've got four pound test. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the hook sets, the bed and the rod, uh, <laughs> definitely uh, is, uh, is a lot of fun. Now this is about five minutes later. You can see I just put the rod in that just caught the fish and the bobber that's right next to my daughter just starts going up. Uh, this one was pretty much on uh, right off the bat so I just needed to start reeling in to get the hook set. Now this one I tried to have my daughter reel in the fish and <laughs> I gotta say that hat is ginormous because I tried to turn on my GoPro on my head and you can see I'm struggling <laughs> with that big old hat. Whoa, your hat's huge. <laughs> Good girl, hold it. Good girl, hold it. So I just had her reel in, I held the rod and with the other hand I got the net uh, and we landed that fish. Uh, so it's great to see the daughter get in on the reeling action as well as the attempts at the netting action. Audrey's fish. <laughs> Audrey's fish. Not too bad. <laughs> Alright you guys, so rod number two again there with the night crawlers. Uh, you'll notice the pattern. Uh, rod number one with the mealworms has not gotten any action at all today. It was all night crawlers up to this point. Um, you'll see my daughter playing in the water. She was collecting shells and cleaning the shells in the water. She enjoyed having her boots on, just like dad walking into the water here and there. So, a uh, subtle bite, uh, and then as soon as I saw the line peel, started reeling in, let that circle hook do the work, and we were on. Now, like I mentioned, rod one didn't get much action up to this point, so I'm really glad that I got um, some night crawlers as a backup bait, which ended up being my primary bait uh, for this one here. So this one's pretty interesting. Uh, this one ended up being another tilapia, so we got two on the board. And you'll see as we're landing this one, look in the back, look at that third rod just go off. Bendo, bendo, please don't go into the lake. <laughs> yeah, that one was on for sure. All right, we still have that tilapia flop in there. Uh, and then we got the other fish here on the trout ultralight setup. Uh, I believe it's an eight foot. Uh, Phoenix Elixir on four pound test, which I think I'm gonna be using on a regular basis here for catfish. Uh, it's pretty fun, even though, you know, getting them to turn over, getting that leverage on some of these fish uh, can be challenging at times. And yeah, if I did get a, a five pounder or so, uh, I think I'd be in a lot of trouble with that one, but uh, it's still, still a lot of fun. So here we have my daughter. Uh, she is getting ready to uh, have her second attempt at netting a fish. Um, I think she did a pretty good job here. Uh, we got the fish right towards the net. She got right under it and lifted straight up and secured the fish. Nice little kitty. I totally forgot to show the tilapia to the GoPro camera on the ground, but uh, you can kind of see it here on the side. This one was smaller than the first one we caught, but uh, still uh, a decent sized tilapia. All right, guys, so a little play-by-play, -play, uh, midday, I guess, for us, uh, summary. Uh, doing pretty good, not as hot as last time. Uh, I think we've got four cats and two tilapia. Uh, way different than last time. Uh, this pole right here has the mealworm and marshmallows. I want to say like zero action. Maybe we had a, a few nibbles. The ones over here, earlier today, that back pole, my daughter's pole, uh, I set up for power bait for trout. We switched that over to just a night crawler. And these two have been getting bit. So night crawler day today. Uh, night crawler along with a power egg to kind of give some color and some flavor. Uh, and also the uh, flavored marshmallow. So that's been pretty crazy, man. These two have been getting the action. These two have not. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, one of my friends that I uh, usually uh, see here on Fridays uh, just showed up, pulled up next to me, mealworm marshmallow, he's tossing it back in there. So pretty cool. Uh, and then behind me, we've got the kid and his family. Uh, pretty cool fishing around people that, uh, you know, that you know. So good times. Let's see if we can get some more. Some more! 
<laughs> Shout out to my boy Rob, aka C Spanker here on YouTube for keying that phrase some mo. <laughs> so switch the camera over to the other side where the action seems to be happening. Um, and look at that subtle bite, you guys. So something different on this one. Um, I actually don't have a circle hook, so you'll see me setting the hook on this rod. Um, I just wanted to try something different, a small, smaller sized hook, and I didn't have any circles, so I just had a bait holder hook. So um, over here, I do have to set the hook, unlike the other ones where I just have to reel and let the hook do the work. Soft bites. Probably a tilapia. Maybe. No, it's a cat. It's kind of fun catching them on this like super light like trout. This is four. Yeah, this is my it's my daughter's trout rod. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of fun catching these uh try to bring it to the camera whoa not quite ready but yeah this was a night crawler also <laughs> well, i don't know now you know it's like do i buy night crawlers or do i buy uh mealworms oh this one's pretty nice Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to get the net. <clears throat> nope. Not ready. Mealworms. Pretty sweet looking one. Now, as I was attaching that last catfish to the stringer, uh oh, uh, the rod right next to my stringer goes off. Now, I know what you guys are saying that's rod one with the mealworms and marshmallows, but I did a test. I'm like, all right, let's see if we switch it up. Let's go rod one night crawlers and look what happens, you guys. It's so strange that for some reason when I'm fishing, uh, Night crawlers is what got me fish. The family to the left of me, they said they were using what I told them to use last week, and they uh, they were catching catfish. Uh, the gentleman to the right of me, he uh, started off using what I also showed him. He got catfish. So I have no idea why my little spot produced by using night crawlers. Probably a mommy catfish right there. So I'm gonna let this one go. She knows how to turn her way. There we go. All right, guys, look how subtle this bite is. Now, this is rod two. Rod two, I did have my mealworm and marshmallow. So mealworm and marshmallow finally got some love for me uh, that day. Um, but yeah, super subtle bite. I even had a chance to toss out rod number one and even come back to this, take the bobber off, wait for <clears throat> that line to start going, and then start reeling. Super subtle bites. Here we are again. Uh, I don't even know what fish number we're on now, but uh, the ultralight set up again uh, on the fishing action. Yeah, this rod got probably most of the action uh, throughout the day today. Now my daughter wanted to try netting again, and I think just the splashing that the fishes make uh, is kind of spook her a bit, so uh, this one didn't go too well. All on Nightcrawler. All on Nightcrawlers for me today. 
Alright you guys, uh, once again the ultralight setup gets hit again, but this time it wasn't any subtle taps, this fish was on. Uh, it was getting pretty hot out there you guys, and I was starting to get a farmer's tan, so I had to roll up the sleeves, try to even out that tan. <laughs> so, uh, more fun on that rod you guys, that 8 foot uh, Phoenix Elixir on that 4 pound test. Uh, just a lot of fun uh, catching these fish in it. Now you can see the struggle from this point of view, uh, trying to get the fish to turn over a certain direction uh, with the ultralight is a little difficult, but uh, still a lot of fun. Pretty decent one. Hey guys. All right, here we are at the end of the day, just taking the fish off the stringer. Uh, I believe we caught nine fish today. There's one. Two tilapia and the rest were catfish. Uh, my daughter wanted to touch almost every fish just as we wrapped up here. Um, at the end of the day, uh, at the car, we did weigh uh, all of the fish. Uh, most of the catfish were weighing in the two pound range. There was one that was just under two pounds uh, and there was two that were in the 2.6 area. So none over three, but you know, that's the nice uh, size where, uh, you know, the fish tastes the best, in my opinion, and other people's opinion. Another one? Um, the tilapia, um, those were about a pound and a half. Uh, the biggest nice one was 1.6, and the smallest one I believe, was 1.4, so right there. So overall, a pretty good day. <clears throat> Um, once again, you guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, the channel's growing slowly. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, so if you guys are watching this and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. I'm always willing to answer any questions you guys may have. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.